So now, let's see how we can work with the properties section inside of Pixlr X. So once I go over here, you can see that there's some option that I have available. So I can resize the image right here. I can change the canvas size. I can rotate it around and I can work with the background. So let's start with resize image right over here. So you can see that by default, the within height of image is 910 uh, by 628 pixels right over here. So I can change that out over here. So I can do something like 1000 right over here. And the height changes accordingly, as you can see right over here, because the co proportions are constant. It does not stretch out anything right over here. So let me just increase the size maybe to around 2. Thousand. So it does not magically increase the resolution or quality, but it increases the pixel area that you can work with. So once you press apply, you can see that the image size, image size has been increased. I can go over here and reduce it out as well. So something around 500 and press OK and the image size has been reduced accordingly. You can also go over here and then choose the constant proportion off. So you can go over here and let's say you can stretch it out. You can, where you want to stretch out the height, you can do that over here as well. Let me just resize that out into 500 by 300, just like that to get back over here onto the scale. Let's say I want to undo that out. You can go to the history right over here and choose the option where your image was. So you can go back to default by going onto the first mark right here. You can go for redo or undo as you can see right over here or directly choose the option from the history just like that to go back. So now uh, let us work with the canvas size over here. So once you go with the canvas size here over, um, you can see that you can work around with the width and height. So let's work around with a resizing of canvas. Let's say for example, I want to do something like uh, thousand by thousand. So let me just increase the canvas size. This does not increase the size of the image right there. So as I apply it, you can see that it actually has a canvas background right over here. An image is just a layer. It's just a piece of paper floating on top of the main background, as you can see. So that is what a canvas is. So you can resize the canvas according to what you want as well. Anchor point is the center point. So this is what we're going to talk about in the future. Uh, over here. So you can just go around here. You can also go for relative change. So you can go around and then uh, you can turn that around over here. So once you and just turn off the relative change, you, you'll be able to see that both of the values will uh, be linked or separate. So depending on whether this is on or off. So just like that, I just have it as it is. So over here, the other option is rotate left and rotate right. As you can see, it does not rotate the canvas, but it rotates the layer that you're selecting right over here. We're going to talk about layers in future lesson as well. So over here, you can see that I have the image layer selected out so I can rotate it left or I can rotate it right. As you can see, I can flip it horizontally or I can flip it vertically right over here. All of the things are recorded in history as you can see right over there as well. Another option you have in properties is the background. So if you were to turn it on, you can see that a color background appears just like that. So you can go over here and choose the color of the background you wish to keep. For example, you want to keep something like green, you can keep it right over there and you can choose the color from right over here as well. As you can see, you can choose the color manually right over here. You can even type in the hexadecimal codes if you know the code. You can also use the color picker and choose um, a sample from the image itself right over here. So you can click over here and click on the sky and you can see that that color is applied right over there. And these are the properties options inside of a Pixlr X. So, and that's how you utilize it. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.